Hey everybody, uh, I'm working here in the shed today and I thought I should just make a quick video. So <clears throat> today I'm going to be replacing the seal on my John Deere L-Series 110 lawn tractor. Um, give you a little backstory. Had to fix the governor last week. The governor was out of control. I'm not talking about Tony. I'm talking about uh, the governor on my uh, L-Series tractor. It was running super high, so I had to take the motor apart to fix the governor. Well, I'll show you that here in a little bit. But I uh, was mowing the other day, and I was losing power. And what was happening was, I'm watching Adam 12, I gotta mute it. So I was running out of power and I couldn't figure out what's going on. Well, I looked underneath to see if one of the belts were loose and what was happening was my mower was uh, losing all its oil and it was coming out the main oil seal on the oil sump underneath the engine. And I'm gonna show you what that looks like. So I've already got the engine off of the machine. I should have shown you how I did that, but I just thought about making a video, so let me show you. Here's my tractor, my John Deere L-Series tractor, 110. This is, you got an inside view of the power shed here. Ooh, there's a mini bike. So I've got the uh, engine off the tractor, and the engine is here on my bench. I've got it upside down. I've already got all the bolts out of the bottom of the engine. And what you see right here is the main oil seal. So when you put oil into your, into your lawnmower engine, into your lawn tractor engine, whatever, um, there's an oil seal that goes around this shaft right here. And this is called the crankshaft. Um, and the main pulley system goes on top of this crankshaft. And, and the pulley is what the belts go to um, when uh, the mower's running. This is the pulley. And this pulley goes on top of the motor like this. There's a key on top of the, on top of the, uh, on the shaft and it fits right into the engine here and this is where the belts go out. Well, you can see that this is full of oil and so um, it's all because it was leaking out of here. So I'm gonna pull the, 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 the sump cover off here and we're gonna see what it looks like. Okay, so what I've done is I've pulled the bottom of the engine off um, and I'm gonna show you what that looks like and then hopefully I can show you how to take that seal off. Um, I've taken the bottom oil pan off of this engine. So here is um, the oil pan, it's off of the engine. Uh, here is the guts of the engine. Isn't this exciting? And I should, I should give you a lesson on how this all goes back together, but I'm not going to right now. That could be another video someday. Well, the other day when I, when I worked on this engine, this is called the governor right here. This was, um, this had come undone in, un, under here and it's too hard to explain what happened, but Perry did something he shouldn't have, trying to get more speed out of his machine. And so the governor came apart and I had to put that all back together. Well, then when I went to get the engine back together to put this cover back on, what happened was this seal came um, loose inside and this spring, which is supposed to hold it together, um, came out of the seal. So I have here this seal pulling tool I'm gonna take this seal out of here. I'm trying to do this all one-handed. So there is the seal. And I've got a new one on order. It's supposed to be here tomorrow. So um, I'm going to put the new seal in tomorrow. And then the new seal looks just like this one, except the spring is inside of the seal. And what that does is it seals, the word, keeps the oil inside of here. And this is when, um, when this covers back on, this, this sump here is full of oil um, so that the crankshaft and the camshaft and everything that's moving gets lubricated and doesn't burn the engine up. So um, tomorrow, after my part comes in, this is all gonna get put back together, sealed up, no pun intended, with the seal. And we're going to hopefully get my John Deere tractor back together so that I can mow. I've got a lot of work to do. The grass is growing. So uh, wish me luck. I think it's all going to turn out okay. All right, I'm back everybody. I got my new part. This is the new oil seal right here. Just uh, went and picked this up today. Turns out um, O'Reilly Auto Parts had it. 
That's good to know. I ordered from Amazon and I was uh, looking at my uh, incoming mail today and it turns out my order uh, for this oil seal, ended up, oil seal ended up in Wyoming, Minnesota. So I guess Wyoming, Wausau, that sounds pretty similar, right? And the zip codes aren't even close, but that's where it is. So I called around and O'Reilly had what I needed. So I went to O'Reilly's and I picked up the seal. And uh, you know, technically I didn't have to take the cover of this engine off, um, but I'm glad I did because I was able to uh, clean out some gunk that was inside of there and, and everything. So what I'm gonna do now, what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to put new gasket sealer on the edges. Um, I'm gonna use my high temp Loctite. I'm gonna put that around the edges and uh, I'm gonna seal it really well. And then once it's on, then the new oil seal is gonna go here and it's gonna slide over the crank um, and it's gonna go into that hole and I'll get that seated. Then I should be able to uh, get everything tight and reinstall the engine and fire it up. So let's see what happens. All right, so there I've got the new seal is in there and I, I put uh, silicone around it was doing some reading and uh, watching some other other videos from other guys and uh, once the seals in and it's seated why not put a little little black silicone over the top of it just to give it a little extra protection so that's what I did we'll see how it turns out not too worried so there we are it's all the covers all bolted on now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip it over and I'm going to mount it onto the John Deere tractor Okay, the engine's on. I uh, have everything hooked up. I still have some electrical wires I need to hook up yet. Hook up the throttle cable. I just added two quarts of 10W30 oil and I'll uh, button it up, put the cover on, and we'll see as it starts. Well, that's good news. It's running great. Successful job replacing the oil seal. Checked underneath, there's no oil leaking, it's doing what it's supposed to do. Thanks for watching, have a great day. Perry's Power Shed.